Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to RPG Elite, where we put the RP back into RPG, giving you the tools and tips that's going to make your RPG experience more immersive and enjoyable. Servant of Shiloh, right back at you. And I know what you're saying. Dude, where in the world have you been? It's been a year. It's literally been a year since I made my last video. I told you guys that this was a hobby and, you know, things happen in life and you get busy and then those things get put by the wayside and you know how it goes. So I decided that, hey, listen, I do like doing these videos. I really, I love role playing games. And so I decided, you know, in 2020, I'm just going to go ahead and this is just going to, again, you know, this is a love for me. If I can make a little Skrilla just to pay for my gaming stuff, though, that would be cool. But it's a it's a straight love for me. I'm not on here. I'm not trying to get rich or anything like that. I just love role playing games and I like some of the tools and things out there. And I want to put forth the my RPG philosophy, which is RPG elitism. I'm not going to talk about that right now. So I am back. So some of you may have been wondering whether Skirmish is still around. Skirmish is still around. As a matter of fact, I just got off the forums and I think it was at the end of February. Of, yeah, last month where they said, hey, we're still around. Hey, we're, you know, everything's still cool. We're still in development. So that's a good thing because I had a, a guy on the channel who asked a question and you know ain't that many people who subscribe to the channel so far and i don't blame you but um he says you know i made a couple of accounts it's a good program but i you know you can't make accounts anymore you can make accounts i just went and made another account i have two accounts and i just made my second one with no problems so you can go and you can make an account and they're still developing this very cool rpg tool so the reason why I'm making this video is because I was at the forums, like I said, and somebody had asked the questions on how to, how do you put maps into the tabletop? Good question. So we're going to get into that right now. I'm drinking a little bit. So if you hear me sucking on uh, my bottle, I ain't trying to be rude, but the brother's throat is dry. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's import a map. Now, this is going to be a multi-part series because you know me. I like to get down into the nitty gritty, into the nuts and bolts, because I just think that this program is a really good program. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the basic things right now just to get you up and running. If you want to just use the program, the other detailed stuff we'll get into in another video. So you see, I got this opened up right here. Let's go ahead and click on game and then click on map settings and this pops up and this is your grid, your map grid. And as you can see, what happens is that you have this little reticle and it magnifies everything. It's a little magnifying reticle. But if you want to, you got a particular map that you want to use for, you know, maybe you got an outdoor map or maybe you got a dungeon map or maybe you got a map of the city or depending on what it is that you're playing. So what you do is you go here to layers, click on background, then click on change. Then go to whatever map that you got. And I've got an outdoor map that I made quite a long time ago. Click on it. Boom, there you got it. Now, as you can see, it's kind of squinched up there together. You want to make it to where it's going to take up the whole screen. So how you do that is there's these sliders on the side here. So you slide them out and you slide this out. And OK, so you see how it kind of scrunched up a little bit. OK, and I want this to go out a little bit more. Oops, going the wrong way. And ooh, OK, there we go. All right. So there's the map It's filled the space. You got your grid. Now, these grid lines, I'm going to show you how to manipulate those in a second. So we've got the map filled out. So let's go ahead and save this bad boy. Boom. And then it opens up just like that. Now, of course, that's zoomed in quite a bit. And if you want to change that, there's a couple ways to do that. 
you can do it the long way. Up here at the top right is a little magnifying glass once again, and you can change that. So if you want to make it smaller, just go down. You want to make it bigger, you want to go up. Okay. So I'm going to keep it about right there. Now, if you want to focus on a particular area of the map, you want to move and to the eastern portion of the map, and you want to go over here, right? Just come down here to the box, and you can grab the play area and just kind of move it around, okay? Now, another way to magnify things or zoom things, not magnify, but zoom in and out, which is the better way, is if you got a mouse and you got a, you know, your little scroll in the middle, then that's what you do. Just scroll in and out. There you go. And that's the best way to do it, obviously. That's the easiest way to do it, no matter what. And then you can just move your stuff around like this. All right. Now, if you work off a grid, which, you know, a lot of RPGs work off of a one inch grid of some kind, and it's good for just, you know, measuring uh, how far things are on the map in general. Now, the grid is overlaid on this map. You can just hardly you can barely see it. I mean, there's a line that's going right here and the lines right here, but you can barely see it. And so if you want to make that a little bit more visible go into user interface go down to grid and just put light color and then there you go you'll have the grid overlaid little light color so you could still see the grid but it's not too obtrusive and then if you want to you know just go ahead and zoom in and then move around a little bit you can and you can go here and this is uh this is on my new account by the way so all those tokens that i made in the last one it's not on this one but you know i've already got them made i can't put them in here but um i want to go ahead and just make a new character and uh whoops messing up here Well, that's not the right one. I didn't want to make a monster. I wanted to make a... Why did why did it automatically do a monster? Oh, well. And we're going to import... Uh, well, we'll just do this female mage right here just because it's... And then, basically, you're going to take it and draw it in here someplace. And let's say she... Let's put her right here. Let's put her right there. All right. And she's a little big, so we're going to go over here and token scalar and put her down to like 0.5 press enter and that's a little bit better so she can you know go down the road here move around there you go so and like i said you could just zoom in and out zoom in and out for moving around on or you can move around down here on the map so that is the quick and dirty method of how to import your map and take tokens and drag them onto the map. There's another way to do that, of course, and you can see that on my other uh, videos. But we're going to get into the nitty gritty of some other details as far as uh, map importing. And we'll get into that in the next video. So until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, happy gaming.